Hello everyone. My name is Bindu M.V. and I am working as Associate Professor in Department of Mechanical Engineering, Luz Mata College of Science and Technology. I have taken the subject Theory of Machines for the resource creation for the FTP101X which is conducted by IAG Bombay. In this video, I will be explaining some of the basic terms used in theory of machines which are structure, machine, kinematic link or element, types of kinematic link, mechanisms and inversion of mechanisms. First, we will see what is a structure. This picture shows a bridge and it is having different members. The force acting on the bridge will be resisted by all these members and it is not converted into work. So we can say that a structure is one in which there is no relative motion, it does not convert the available energy into work, members are meant to take up loads only. Examples are bridges, trains and buildings. Before I explain what is a machine, let me ask you to reflect on this question. What is the difference between a machine and a structure? You can pause the video, think about this for a minute or two and write your answer in the course journal. Once you have written the complete answer, then you can restart playing the video by clicking on it. So I hope you have completed this activity. Now let us see what is a machine. This figure shows the schematic representation of a steam engine with crank, connecting rod, piston and cylinder. You can see that when the position of the piston is here, the end point of the crank is here. And when the piston moves from this point in this direction, the crank will be moving from this point to this point. And this is the maximum position of the piston. And from this point, the piston will be moving in this direction causing the movement of this crank from this point to this point. So that means the crank has completed 360 degrees of rotation or one complete revolution. So the reciprocating motion of the piston, that is this kind of movement of the piston is converted into rotary motion of the crank with the help of this connecting road. That is the power which is produced here will be converted into useful work at this end. So force will be acting on all these members and this force will be resisted by all these members. So a machine is an assembly of a number of resistant bodies in which there is a relative motion between its members. It transforms available energy into useful work. Members are meant to transmit motion and forces. This is a difference between a machine and a structure. Now we'll see what is meant by a kinematic link or element. This is a configuration diagram of the engine which we have seen previously. This represents the crank, 
this is a connecting rod and this is a piston all these are separate members but here it is connected together to get the desired motion and the desired work so a link or element is a resistant body which has a relative motion with some other parts now what are the types of links links are classified in two manner one depending upon the flexible property of their material that is one rigid link rigid links are those which do not suffer any deformation while transmitting motion practically this kind of link it is not possible because always there will be a some kind of deformation will be there but this can be neglected so the examples of rigid links are crank and connecting rod the second one it is flexible links flexible links are those which deform appreciably while transmitting motion but deformation has no effect on the geometry of the motion example belt row springs the third one fluid links when the motion is transmitted by means of a fluid it is known as a fluid link examples fluid under pressure used in hydraulic lift hydraulic jack and hydraulic crane but depending upon the number of ends provided it can be named as binary link ternary link and quaternary link for that i'll go back to the previous figure consider this crank one end of this crank it is attached to the connecting rod the other end is attached to the crank shaft so if i isolate this crank i can represent the crank like this one member with two lobes i can attach one link here another link here so this type of member which is having two nodes it is named as a binary link now this is a ternary link here three nodes are there we can attach three different links to this single link and this is a quaternary link where four nodes are there and we can attach four different links to this single link and this is one way of expressing this links representing this links now we'll see what is meant by mechanism and inversion of mechanism consider this figure we have this is link 1 link 2 link 3 and link 4 so we have connected all these four links together and this forms a kinematic chain and i have fixed this link and if i give a definite input motion for this shortest link it can complete a revolution one revolution so this member it is named as a crank and the motion of this crank will be transmitted to this output link through this intermediate link which is named as the coupler or connecting rod and this member will be having an oscillatory motion and this member is named as the rocker or lever this is a simple four bar mechanism so when a link of the kinematic chain is fixed it forms a mechanism so here this figure the link 4 is fixed this is a crank in this figure the link 2 is fixed here also the shortest link will be completing one revolution and this link will be having an oscillatory motion so these two are forming 
a crank and lever mechanism. In this figure, I have fixed the short tester link. So here the link 2 and 4 will be completing one revolution. That means it is forming a double crank mechanism. Now here I have fixed the link which is opposite to the short tester link and in this case the link 3 and the link 4 will be having an oscillatory motion and this is named as double rocker mechanism. So getting different mechanisms by fixing different links of a kinematic chain is termed as inversion of mechanism. So in this video we have seen what is a structure, a machine, types of kinematic links, mechanism and inversion of mechanisms. Thank you for watching. Thank you.